Hi friends, I hope you're doing well today. It's a mild, cloudy day in May, um, and it's nice to be outside. I'm actually sitting out in what will be the chicken run. And if you look over there, there's the door that my brother built down there. And so that will lift, the door lifts up and the chickens can come out to the run and eat grass and bugs and take dust baths and do all the things that chickens do. <laughs> it's gonna be, it's, it's fun. I'm enjoying it. Um, but I also wanted to come on here and share uh, from my heart. There's been just some things that are weighing heavy on my heart that I just wanted to encourage us all. Um, you know, there's so much on social media that's negative and it just I mean I see it constantly um, arguing debating disunity I, I understand I, I know we all have our own opinions we all have our own take on things our own perspective there are so many factors that play into that but what's most important the bottom line is it's all about Jesus you know it's not about anything else but Jesus and I just wanted to encourage all of us to refuse to get into debates I mean I'm not saying I mean I know that there are um, people who will argue with you I had a woman who you know I have my viewpoint on things and I shared a post and she was you know starting it could have gotten into an argument and I refused to argue I just liked her comment because that's her opinion now, I don't I mean it, it doesn't matter to me really I mean I still love her even though she has a different viewpoint than I do um I appreciate that she has her own viewpoint. She's coming from the medical field side, and I'm not. And and we have, you know, there's different research that's been done, and we really honestly don't know the truth. And that's the thing I think that's been most aggravating is just we don't really know the truth. Um, but as as in any time in my life I mean I've been through a lot of things in my life and throughout it all since I've been a Christian the one thing remains and that is Jesus Christ and being led by the Holy Spirit you know we have to be led by the Holy Spirit we have to have ears to hear what he's saying and honestly for whatever reason he may lead someone differently than me he may lead someone to wear a mask he may lead someone else you know it's like well it's okay you don't need to like you just I don't know why well I mean I kind of do but you know maybe someone needs to wear one maybe someone else doesn't maybe one day I need to wear one and one day I don't you know um and that's just one of the issues that I see a lot of arguing over and I just uh, yesterday, I just took some time just to reflect and and to pray, and I was thinking about eternity. I was thinking about heaven, because really the worst thing that could happen is we die, and like my daughter Anna says, when we're facing something that is hard or, I don't know, even the times we're living in now, she's like, well, if we die, we're going to heaven, you know, I mean, we have a hope that people who aren't Christians don't have and and if you're not a Christian you can know today that you're going to heaven by accepting Jesus as your savior Jesus is the son of God he was born of a virgin the virgin Mary he's God's son the Holy Spirit implanted him the seed God's seed into Mary and he was conceived he was raised perfect he was a perfect human he was God and man. He was the he was God in the form of a man. And he lived a perfect life and he gave himself as a sacrifice for our sins. He died on the cross. He went to hell, conquered sin and death, and he rose again. 
And that's, you know, of course, we celebrate Easter. And he rose up victoriously. And now he's up in heaven, seated at the right hand of, of God. And we're waiting for his return. And the signs are showing that it, you know, it's definitely, there are definitely signs showing that it could be soon. We just need to be ready. But in this whole thing that we're living through, I just want to encourage us all. Um, just let's keep our focus on Jesus. Not on the news. Not on the debates. Not on our rights or our... Um, whatever. <laughs> Let's just keep our eyes on Jesus, the author and finisher of our faith, who for before him endured the cross, despising the shame, and sat down at the right hand of the throne of God. I think I just shared that scripture the other day. I'm pretty sure that's Hebrews. Um, but I wanted to read Psalm 133. This is a scripture that the Lord laid on my heart concerning just my circle. Um... Uh, last year actually uh, late last year and I've been praying this ever since and it says Psalm 133 this is the King James version <laughs> behold how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity it is like the precious ointment upon the head that ran down upon the beard even Aaron's beard that went down to the skirts of his garments. As the dew of Hermon, and as the dew that descended upon the mountains of Zion, for there the Lord commanded the blessing, even life forevermore. And that's what I want. You know, if we are walking in unity, then we will have the anointing. The oil is a representation of the Holy Spirit and of the anointing. And it, you know, it says here that how good and pleasant it is for brethren to dwell together in unity. It is like, unity is like the precious ointment, which is that anointing upon the head that ran down the beard and the, and the skirts of his garments. Like he was, he was saturated with that oil. It was all over. And that's what I want to be. I want to be well oiled with the anointing of the Holy Spirit. And if I am going around arguing with everybody and standing, I mean, I, okay, I don't want to say it the wrong way because there is a time to stand up for what we believe in. I'm not saying that. But we just have to make sure that our hearts are right in that. And our cause really needs to be Jesus. Um, and so I know I'm probably going to get a lot of flack over this. Um... But I just felt like I needed to share it because yesterday I had this moment and I was thinking of eternity. And I was I, I um, was actually listening to that song, I Can Only Imagine, which is a song that was very special to me when Rick passed away. And really that's what we're living for is for eternity. So I hope that you all have a great day. Let's walk in unity. Let's put down our opinions and our attitudes. And let's submit to the Holy Spirit and be led by the Holy Spirit. Y'all have a great day. Shalom.